a girl falls in love with his best friend, who thinks she's a boy. Part 7 and Part 8 The episode starts with June, doing his usually morning walk. He reached near the temple with a lot of stare. He then thinks about Tomo's father, Goro, who asked him that why he wants to become a stronger. The scene then shifts back to his childhood, when June was very young, and moved from Tokyo to the small city where Tomo lived. He was playing video games on a console, when Tomo climbed up the exterior wall behind his lawn. As she jumped from the wall to his side, she asked June, Where did he come from? To which June tells her everything while playing videos games on his console. Tomo then gets quite excited when she learned that he came from Tokyo, a town with big buildings and robots. But when she saw that June is not paying any attention to her, she snatches his console and begins to play video games. Unfortunately, she ended up accidentally breaking it. Seeing this, June punched her in the face, knocking her down on the ground. Despite June punched her, but she regretted her actions and apologized profusely, asking him to punch her with a hundred more times. A few moments later, Tomo arrived with his father Goro, and he apologized to June on behalf of his daughter, telling him that he will pay for the damages that her daughter caused. Due to his large size and scary look, June gets horrified to see Goro. Suddenly, Akemi, the mother of Tomo, arrives on the scene and scolds both of them for treating their new neighbor harshly. Seeing her in angry mode, both of them hid behind June, trembling with fear. She then asks Tomo to apologize to June and make up with him. Hearing her mother's words, Tomo tells June that she is sorry for breaking his console, and since they are on the same age, she wants to be his friend. Hearing this, June agrees to her request, and from that day, they both begin to play with each other every day. After some time, while playing a video game on his console, Tomo asks him to come play with her instead of playing with video games, even calling him a gamer kid. Hearing this, June tells him not to call him with that name, to which Tomo tells him that he never calls her with her real name, but always saying, Hey, you monkey and idiot. Hearing this, June apologizes to her for his behavior and calls her with her real name, to which she gets happy and blushed. The following day, Tomo introduces him to her friend, Gundu, and wants him to become friend with her too. Suddenly, Gundu comes to his face and tells him that he has the face of a bumpkin, to which June gets angry, and from that day, their rivalry gets started. Sometime later, the trio heads to a forest to catch some bugs. As they arrive at the stairs, which was shown in the opening scene, June gets horrified to see so many stairs and even has hard time walking on it. Suddenly, Gundu, carried by Tomo on her back, gives him the embarrassing face, causing June to get fired up and runs faster, reaching the upper area before them and declaring his victory against Gundu. But when she approaches him, he was exhausted and lying on the ground, to which she tells him with a smirk smile that in the end, the one still standing is the winner. After that, the trio begin catching some bugs, and June is amazed to catch one. As the time passes, June catches up to Tomo's craziness, and they get along better than ever. One day, when he was playing games on his console alone by the riverside, two bullies approached him, supposedly beat him up, and stole his console from him. When Tomo met him the following day, she asked him about bandages on his face, to which he lied to her about the incident, but she somehow figured out what had happened. At that evening, she got the console back from the bullies and gives it back June, telling him that she found it lying on the ground. Seeing this, June grabs her from his collar and tells her that he is tired of always taking Tomo's help. He then refused to take the console back from her, and promised to take it back only when he became physically stronger than her. After nine years, Tomo is still playing with the console, and wondered why he never took it back, as he is far stronger than her now. One ordinary day, June goes to the beach with Misuzu, Tomo, and Carol unknowns of the fact that the short trip will change the way he looks at his childhood friend. Carol has put this idea in Misuzu's mind that taking both of them to the beach will be a great idea. 
After arriving at the beach, the three friends change into a swimsuit. While Misuzu and Carol are comfortable wearing the clothes, Tomo could not gather the courage to stand in front of June wearing a bikini. When she does not come out of the changing room, June enters and simply removes the hoodie she is wearing. He is shocked to see Tomo's surprisingly hot figure and instinctively becomes very shy. While Carol and Tomo then go to play in the water, June just sits back and watches with Misuzu, who is quietly noticing everything. When Tomo and Misuzu later drag him with them to the water, they do not realize that they are making June uncomfortable by being too physically close to him. June has never seen Tomo in a swimsuit, so watching her like that just changes his perspective in unthinkable ways. He becomes extra protective of her, so when boys approach her, he makes sure that he pushes them away. Meanwhile, Tomo also struggles to keep her jealousy in check when Carol gets too close to June in her swimsuit. When they are going back home, Misuzu is confident that June no longer sees Tomo only as a girl now, and will probably not treat her like his other male friends anymore. After Misuzu challenged Tomo to go see fireworks with June during the summer festival, she paid him a visit to discuss it further. June was only interested in knowing if they would be accompanied by anyone else, and when Tomo confirmed that it would just be the two of them, he agreed to go. On the day of the festival, Carol visited Misuzu's home and offered to take her to see the fireworks, despite Misaki already planning to attend with her. June anxiously waited for Tomo at the festival, and when she finally arrived, he was captivated by her beauty in a traditional kimono. While browsing through the local shops, the vendors failed to recognize Tomo, whom they previously feared due to her winning streak. One vendor even snapped a photo of her and sent it to others as a warning. Regrettably, the vendor's hope for a successful day is short-lived as Tomo effortlessly triumphs over every game she plays, acquiring several prizes along the way. As they wait for the fireworks display to begin, Tomo finds a moment to express her gratitude for June's presence, causing him to struggle to contain his emotions as he holds her hands. However, he promptly changes the subject and invites her to watch the fireworks with him. Under the sparkling lights of the night sky, Tomo senses that this may not be the ideal time to confess her feelings to June. Meanwhile, he is grappling with his complicated emotions towards his childhood friend. To gain better clarity and manage his feelings, June decides to keep some distance between them. Tomo grows restless and notices the change in his behavior. On her way home, Misuzu is confronted by the same group of guys that Tomo had previously beaten up. Initially trying to intimidate them, Misuzu quickly realizes that she's no match for them. Carol witnesses the altercation and tries to intervene, but Misuzu refuses to acknowledge her presence. Despite this, Carol uses a taser on one of the guys, and the two girls flee to a nearby abandoned factory. There, they call June for help and urge him not to bring Tomo along. But Tomo soon realizes something is amiss and forces June to come clean about the situation. With Tomo in tow, June and Misaki rush to help the girls. When the bullies catch up to them, Tomo takes charge and beats them up. Even June gets in on the action, but Tomo reminds him that this is her fight as the culprits targeted her friends. Therefore, he decides to leave them to Tomo to handle. As Misaki catches Carol changing clothes, he misunderstands the situation and becomes infuriated with the creepy seniors for crossing all lines. He's on the verge of killing them, when Carol and Misuzu rush in to clarify things. After beating up the bullies, Tomo heads back home while Misuzu takes the opportunity to threaten him. She reveals that Tomo is the only daughter of Goru, who runs the infamous Aizawa Dojo. Misuzu warns them that if they continue to create problems for Tomo, things could get ugly. Learning about Tomo's father, the creepy seniors become scared and vow to protect her and Misuzu from now on. As Tomo is walking home, June joins her and mentions how she has smartly manipulated things. The next day, Tomo feels that she may have blown things with June by acting too savagely. But when June greets her normally, she's overjoyed and runs back to school, leaving June behind.
And this brings the video to an end. Comment for part 9. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. So you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.